There's not too much insight about NEO's autonomous driving, so the self-developed solution that I have so far. And if you know, the ET7 currently comes with the LiDAR equipped and the watchtower design, so all of the new sensors, the bigger compute power inside the car. But so far, no videos about you know, self-driving ET7s, right? And the reason for that is because these functionalities will iteratively be introduced to NEOs, actually just starting from Q4 and also, of course, not all at once. But there are, of course, some tiny insights that we have already now, and here's one. So one thing that is already working is object detection. A meaning by that here is the center screen that you'll see in your car when you're driving and you will get displayed all of the surrounding information like which objects are around the car. And here you can see some very fine distinction between a cyclist which is actually off the road and also some bikes parked at a pedestrian. And um, well, it seems like the ET7 system is having some good in-depth um, recognition of these objects. Um, funnily, of course, showing here some people on the bike, which of course is not the fact. And there are more of such examples, like it makes a differentiation between the different objects, like if it's just a car or a big lorry that is also detected. Also, um, interestingly, the direction of the car, which is good to see. And then also, yeah, here very detailed, like a delivery guy on his bike and a bigger lorry um, in quite a distance here. So we also possibly see that this is already using some information maybe from the cameras and lidars and on top of that and thereby should have a very long range on, on which it can actually detect such objects. And of course in places like China you have very messy situations such as here with those um, cyclists and uh, bike riders which are going into different directions and it can be quite messy situations on the street but it seems like the ET7 is um, detecting uh, those visual aspects quite good because in the end the advancements of this new um, NT2.7 uh, platform and by the ET7 is that of course it has lots of processing power to um, process all of the information collected and picked up by the LiDAR sensors but also by the cameras. So currently we don't see the full scope of what this car will be able to do with that but importantly, we already see that the visual um, object detection is working very well here. And so in the end, this is all what goes into the model, will be processed by the neural networks and the chips of the uh, ET7 there and also on the other cars in the future. And then ultimately, uh, we'll see how good the algorithms of NEO are actually working in order to make it possible for the ET7 to achieve level four. All of this is of course around the uh, team by Renshaw seeing that they are now working on um, self-developed in-house and as I mentioned, Q4 will be when they launch the subscription. So people will actually pay for this functionality in the future on a monthly basis. And then we'll see gradually rolling out uh, new functionalities and features. So, so I guess at the beginning, you cannot say, bring me from A to B and drive fully autonomously. But over time, that's of course the goal on an L4 uh, technology there. So anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.